Hello everyone, today's video is going to be a little bit different. Today I'm going to be talking about lean management on our farm. So for anybody who doesn't know what lean management is, it's all about uh, improving efficiency and organization to cut out waste, wasted time, wasted energy and wasted resources and just making everything a little bit easier, a little bit simpler so it runs more streamlined. some of the thing practices that we have implemented on our farm over the last couple of years just to make things a little bit more organized and streamlined and simple to get through the workload more efficiently and spare save more time to do more important jobs or to take time off. I'm going to start off here in the milking parlor and go through some of the way we have things laid out and organized in the milking parlor to make things simple. But before we get into all that, I'm just going to quickly talk about communication because that's an essential part of having everything run efficiently, everybody knowing what they're doing and when they're doing it so that the team works in synergy. Communication. So this is a big part to, for everything running smoothly and uh, everyone knowing what they need to do and when it needs to be done by so that there isn't time wasted in between jobs or people not knowing what's to be done. With here, I work alongside my, my parents and we have two uh, staff members with us who work. So we have a team of nearly five here all together. We have a uh, group chat on our phones for easy communication where we can uh, put up any sort of communication, milk, how the milk quality is, the grass is, any problems or breakdowns or questions can easily be communicated throughout the entire group. We also have a couple of other group chats for specific things like animal health where we can record lame cows or cows that need to be getting injections. It's kept separate so it's easily recorded from the group and everybody knows where to get that information. We also have groups for when during calving season what cows have calved and what calf is theirs. Um, very, very simple to implement. We use WhatsApp but other uh, messaging apps are available with dedicated time once a week where we have a meeting with the team just before lunch on a Monday we everybody meets uh, and we have uh, an agenda to talk through how things have gone last week how things are what's going to be happening in the following week coming up and any issues we want to discuss and this just keeps we find this meeting very helpful to keep everyone on the same page everybody know what's going on everyone's filled in especially when people that might have been off the weekend beforehand fills them in anything that's happened over the weekend so down here in the plant room where this is where the the motors and vacuum pumps for running the parlor are this is where we keep all of our stuff our gear for milking our aprons we have our gloves up here organized small medium large because the three of us that milk all wear different sized gloves. The big thing about keeping all of our gear in here, it's all ready to go in one place for milking, but as well, because the vacuum pumps are running twice a day, this room is nice and warm. So it means all the gear is dried out quick, quickly, ready for the next milking. Over here at Cups On in the milking parlor, it's important to have anything you might need quickly at hand when you're milking. Here we have our, our parlor trolley this is where we have everything that we might need in milking we got our paddles for CMT testing the milk we got our sprays our tapes whatever creams and anything we might need everything is here and the handy thing is this is on wheels so we can in the spring maybe if we can move it around if needs be around the parlor we also have a blue barrel here just beside cups on We'd often have our, some water in this to keep our hands clean during milking, but also we can put up anything that we might need sprays during the milking rather than have to walk over here to the trolley. But everything beyond the trolley means we don't have to go off to the dairy or the plant room to go get it. It's pretty much right beside you. Up here then we have some white boards for milking. So these two boards are regards our treatment boards. Uh, any cows that's receiving treatment for anything, whether it's injection or she's getting tubes for mastitis, it's all recorded on this board. Anything that is concerned with milking, where she has a, a, a withdrawal on the milk from antibiotics, this is all kept in the board. It's easy to see from cups on. Column here we have the date of when the cow was treated, whether it was morning or evening. 
what she got, what injection or tube she got, the actual cow that was treated, the quarter or how the uh, injection was given, intramuscular or, or inter or subcutaneous. Then we have when the milk is okay from, when she's clear to go back into the tank, if there's withdrawal on them. And we also have it admin by that someone, we can put our initials on it. Uh, so if someone else is looking at the cow and they want to refer back, they can, they can ask whoever treated the cow first. So at the moment I'm here in our workshop. Now, the big thing apart of lean management is that everything has a place and everything is kept in its place. So we uh, cleared out one of these room sheds on the farm and uh, created the workshop where we keep all of our tools and everything that we might need. It's all in the one spot. You know where to go, you know where to find it. There's no wasting time looking around for things. Another use for our old little 20 litre drums was to make toolboxes. So where we cut out the corner of, of, the, of the drum leaving the handle in place and if I need to do some work on uh, on something somewhere else away from the workshop I can come in I can throw all my tools into this and I can just carry them down to wherever I need and uh, then when I come back I can just hang them back up I'll put here I have a maintenance checklist for all our bits of machinery for uh, of kind of what needs to be done with them with uh, checking oil levels and tires and uh, greasing and all the information you need for doing just checkups and maintenance on those machines. Part of lean management is always having the tools you need when you want them and not having to go and get them. So a lot of the common tools that you would usually want we keep a set of them in each of the pieces of machinery so on the quad and in the tractor and then they are uh, have a bit of tape on them, a colour tape to indicate where they belong. Labelling things as well, again, we can see all the spanners labelled. Uh, shelves here the, with these, contain, these containers that we have all the nuts and bolts and everything in. They are actually old uh, 20 litre drums that had oil, hydraulic oil and engine oil and all that in them. And what we did was we just cut them in half and they just create a nice little bit of a, a shelf or container put the your nuts and bolts in they're nice and wide and open so it's easy to see into them and also to be a little bit of a oil residue inside them which is good to keep the nuts and bolts lubricated and not let them rust when they're out here like this labeling is a big part of helping with the communication and just making things very simple for everyone and reducing the amount of of breakdowns in communication a lot of the things we have implemented here are very simple and and cheap they don't really cost anything J just a bit of a bit of time to just organize things this is our old dairy which we've now converted into a kind of a calf milk room so obviously it's summer we're not really using it as much but in spring we do a lot of a lot we keep a lot of uh we keep some of the calf milk in this room as well as we use it for washing up all of the the milk feeding equipment so we got hot and cold water here and we have a sink we made up these drying racks we had these these racks around the place some years ago i think they were shelves in a truck or something and we just cable tied them to some drums full of water they've made very sturdy shelves handy for putting buckets up upside down on them to let them dry after washing them and again an old drying rack here from or an old dishwasher rack here for putting our bottles in for drying once you wash them you put them up there to dry you'll see a few boards around the place we have a whiteboard in the this calf room as well with all of the pens on it and how many calves were in each pen how many liters to go to that pen and any other notes if there's sick calves in the pen or anything like that or or any additional notes on it so if it's changing on who's feeding calves they can look at this board and they know exactly what is supposed to be uh, fed who's to get what so just here in our little room it's actually the old dairy of the old old parlor before before the so the calf room we were in was the the old dairy of our old parlor and this room is actually the dairy of the parlor that was before and 
from a long time ago so it's nice that it's tiled we didn't actually tile it but we just converted this room again it's out the crush is just out there in the yard and here we keep all of our animal re remedies and everything that we need stored right beside the crush and also all our ai stuff is here as well as as i mentioned earlier about everything having its place and everything we kept in its place another important thing is to have everything where it is needed so not to have to bring stuff to somewhere and bring it back if you're doing that regularly maybe you need to have what you want in the place that is needed into the crush often if the vet is out we might need sprays and tapes to mark up cows after or after ai we go, we're, we're always going to need our soap and our tail markers here so at the end of the crush we have an old dishwasher rack tied onto the bar here for just some uh just an area to throw up stuff we also have an old drum here you bolted to this post and inside we have some sprays our markers things that we might need again that are always needed at the end of the crush so we don't have to go up to our ai room to get them and bring them or up to the parlor to bring them down every time they're always on hand so that's going to be all for today's video i hope you have found some of the things that we i've shown you today helpful and that maybe you can implement them on your own farm or even in your own business lean management can be used in pretty much anything your own business sport your own day-to-day -day life it's very helpful our farm here is, is far from perfect we still have plenty of room for improvement when it comes to lean management and it's like always fun to try and improve things and make it more efficient so i hope but i hope you all gained something from today and if you have any need management practices that you use your farm throw them down in the comments there for everyone to see it makes things a little bit simpler a bit more organized and run and more efficiently is always great thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did give it a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed so you can see what's going on in our farm and thanks for watching guys See you in the next one.